Because right. it didn't go exactly as planned, this this funeral procession that they had. Well, so, we don't have all the materials, plus the droughts really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> dry, the drought made the puppets look... Water puppets are way better. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, it was just, you know, they were very, very appreciative right. that you... Uh, handled it and the you know that night um, you guys are again are in the tavern the funeral happens and stuff and one of the pirates can I see that book oh, sure. one of the pirates comes up to you guys and says so I hear you want Jacoby well Want would be a strong word. Interested in his services. Is no, we're willing to trade the parrot. No. <laughs> we're not trading the parrot. <laughs> yeah, we'll trade Salty. <laughs> so he goes, Jacoby will never go out to sea again. Uh oh. What uh -oh. happened? What happened? <laughs> he goes, do you guys not know the story of uh -oh. Whalebone Pick? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, I'm writing some down. Uh, <laughs> Everyone give me a roll. <laughs> Whale bone pick. Uh, 12 on the die. 18 on the die. I got a 13 plus blah blah blah. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. It's time for 20. epic rap battle. <laughs> a, a piracy? An epic rap battle of piracy? Blackbeard. Oh, they actually have one with Blackbeard. Uh oh, uh -oh 14. I know I saw it. I know I saw it. No. It's good. East Sea versus West Sea. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes. Whale bone pick. Captain. I have a feeling your story is about to be outstoried here. No, no, no. I'm okay losing tonight, right? It's the fifth night that I'm yeah. interested in. This is night two or something. He, he goes... Three. Yeah, third, third. He goes, Captain Jeremiah Pick took the whaler Bella Dame to sea from the port of Magnamar in 4631. Already too much information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm goes, a cupcake. The, the Bell Dame. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one's got the attention. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We, we lost. What? We, What's we going on? We can buy six copies of the module. We read it when we get home. What was supposed to happen? What were all the discussion forums like? We got killed by wasps. It was by wasps. Okay, so Captain Jeremiah Pick took the whaler Belladon to sea from the port of Magnamar in 4631. The Bell Dom could take a whale in far waters, skin it, render its bubbler in the triworks, and store its meat all without seeing land for weeks at a time. Such was Captain Pilk's success, and he became known as Whalebone. Uh, Whalebone. Whalebone? Yeah. <laughs> well, damn! I thought you said Whalebone. I'm like, what? Smokes the seeds, man! Sounds like my college years, yeah. man. You make like a... Uh, bong and you have <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, so. That would work really good, actually. <laughs> and he goes, and the ship just simply Smooth. became known as the Bell, for Pick's habit of sounding the ship's bell when a, with a furor every time he caught sight of a whale spout. Whalebone Pick's success proved to be his own undoing on his last voyage. For two weeks, pickings were frustratingly sin uh, slim until a pod of bowhead whales was finally sighted off the shoulder of Hermia. Pick nearly beat his knuckles bloody that night, striking the ship's bell, but the pod always stayed elusively ahead. For days, the pursuit led ever south and west into the Arcadian Ocean, almost as if the whales were luring the ship onward. Home fell further behind, and supplies dwindled, until some of the starving crew decided to mutiny. Pick had a ringleader tied to the mast and ordered the mate to give him lashes for as long as he rang the bell. The mate's arm grew tired before Pick did, but by then the mutinous sailor was dead from the beating. To keep the rest of the crew in line, Pick had the mutineer skinned and rendered into a tripod and his skull nailed to the mainmast as a warning. The ship continued until the 23rd day, when a dense fog rolled in. An indistinct shape loomed large in the water ahead, and the mate ordered the helmsman to steer hard to port to avoid collision. But Pick countercommanded the order and began ringing the bell, ordering the men to the harpoons. When the huge bowl bowhead came out of the fog, it ran the ship, breaching the hull. 
Pitt cursed the whales and cursed his men and continued to ring the ship's bell as the foundering ship slowly slipped beneath the waves with all hands on board 2,000 miles from home. Pick is now the captain of a ghost ship that haunts the fever sea. Occasionally rising from the bottom of the depths, Pick continues to hunt in the aptly renamed Death Knell, stalking his prey and striking his ship's bell for three nights until he brings them down. Pick always waits until the third night to strike. So the PC can find some. Oh, so you can find safety <laughs> by staying off the water. Such is Jacoby. He was out on the sea for two days. If he goes back, he's afraid Whalebone Pick will find him. Wait, what now? What, what is his deal? Jacoby's was on a boat that. With Whalebone, Whalebone Pick. No, no. He was oh, there was that whale was hunting. Was hunting. Was taking him. Okay, okay. And two for two days, days and then okay. he's afraid if he goes back out. And he goes, Pick won't stop until he has a thousand victims, fifty for each of his dead crew. Mm. And rumor has it, once he has them, the crew will mutiny ah. and kill Pick. Ah. And Sink to the bottom of the sea. Arr. Death knell. Well bone pick. Better be coming up with a good story. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, you gotta beat that, that, man. No, I just have much Thanks respect for that, man. That's just know, straight up respect. That. that was a great story. Nothing. I got nothing, man. Night three, I'm just like, that's as good as it gets, man. You can't do better than that. She? Yeah. You will get to know next time. Good, because oh, I like that man. treasure map on the back. Yeah. <laughs> more treasure yeah. On the back yeah. Man, I'm looking for that treasure. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> but a little more time looking at it. <laughs> yeah. I'll deduce it. You know what I say? X marks the spot. <laughs> From the Paisal blog. I like the other view better. Yeah. <laughs> From the Paisal blog, Pirate Familiars. Oh, I didn't tell you I ordered the Skull and Shackles brick. <laughs> I did. I couldn't. Christmas gift to yourself? Huh? Or Christmas that a... gift to myself. It was, I ordered it Black Friday because it was like 80 bucks off. Wow. And I was like, awesome. So I order it and it says six days. So I'm thinking, that's excellent. The latest it'll be here is by Friday. Who's the carrier? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they, didn't even, they didn't no. even ship it for a week. They reason. didn't ship it until Thursday or Wednesday. Uh, so okay. it's like such a bummer. Time. But who's the yeah. carrier? Uh, what? Who's the carrier? Uh, the ops man. UPS. So, so it, it's not here for this game, but it'll be here for the next yeah. game. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. So nice. the options for Pirate Familiars, according to their blog, are Dodo, a Dwarf Cayman, Giant Isopod, Marine Iguana, Mongoose, Osprey, Parrot, Toucan, Sea Crate. Toucan would be pretty cool. Right, Toucan Cham! Seal, oh, we have and here. Snail Kite. I don't know, Mongoose though is badass. And you actually get <laughs> I want a Kiki Taka. I want a pissed off <laughs> Mongoose, man. You yeah. actually get really good bonuses for them. Do you? Yeah. yeah like, like for a Parrot, you get plus three on Linguini. Lingu uh, eh. Linguini? Yeah. Check. <laughs> Linguistic check. It sounds like my check. So the pasta. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. <laughs> no, I get sick. I get sick bonus, man, for that the octopus. I get plus three to intimidate checks and plus three to swim checks. So rickety uh, takes you guys without the rest of your crew, right? And this, you know, by now, um, uh, Rosie Cuswell is up and about. Cool. Right, good, and she seems kind uh, of like reserved, you know. And uh, he takes you to Scott. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that my one hit point is back now that we've yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, definitely. So, as my 12, yes, as is your 12. <laughs> so he he takes you to your ship and he shows you, he goes, Ah, I'm never one to take off finances but you did me something good. So 
I did something good for you too. Mm -hmm. And he yeah, shows you the these time. three secret storage oh, yeah. compartments he built. Millennium yes. Falcon is big. I was about to say. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's three of what them. The hell and is an aluminum you're two in. <laughs> and it's uh and, and, and it's big enough for a person, basically. Cool. So you could store three Human people trafficking. or trafficking. <laughs> yes. We've reached a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> so he tells you that those are generally 500 gold and that he put them in for free. Nice. Dude. And they are incredibly well hidden. DC 25. Yeah. To, Sweet. to find. On a search. Mm hmm. Hey, we, we, we know where they are. I can, I can barely yeah, find them guys, myself. So, yeah. Even for you guys to find them after he showed <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, like, DC where 25. the hell was this? I don't remember what part it was. Um. So, the last day before, you know, it, you know you're going to stay one more night. Right, right, right. You have, everyone's doing their normal thing and everything seems to be going well. But one of the, one of the crew, not, not your crew, but one of the workers, workers for the place yeah. is shouting. And he's pointing in the water and there's these two dead crocodiles just floating down the river very very slowly and uh, of course a bunch of the other workers gather around and they're like oh that's that's not what good does, what does How that mean they're, dead? they're like floating belly oh, okay, up perfect. yeah so who needs boots <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then one of them goes, yeah, they, I, I could skin them and make some nice boots out of them. Let's but do it. I want to know what killed them, is what one of the workers said. This is not good. There's some... We had someone row up river one time, and they never came back. Mm. And I'm worried that this drought might be driving something here. Hmm. Are there, well, is there anything that we can see? Yeah, is there anything that we can see on the crocodiles as far as are there bite marks? Are they missing Giant body? You know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there are you gonna Are you gonna yeah, go yeah. and pull them in? Yeah, I, I will. Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? I'm gonna get some rope and I'm gonna swim out there and, and try to pull them oh, in. Okay. Just hang on to the rope. I'll go out there and I'll start pulling them in. I love the music for this. Is you like diving in? It's like yeah, dude. <laughs> this is the the Assassin's Creed. Oh black yeah, this flag is good. Soundtrack. I, yeah. So I got the first one. It's good. I don't think I played like the first Assassin's Creed. I haven't touched them since. I think there's like four. This is the only them. one I really, really want to play. This is the new pirate. the new pirate one, right? It's a pirate one. Yeah. Isn't that what yeah. it is? Yeah, it's a pirate, yeah, it's one. A pirate one. That's Sounds why cool. I put on the soundtrack. Pirates Caribbean 2, man, with the rolling thing when they're fighting. That's they're, terrible. That's dude. incredible. That's terrible, dude. man. Oh. It's a terrible movie. Not 2? Yeah. 2 he's is rolling, great. Dude, I think he's rolling the part the where he's rolling in the ball and he's like, Woo! The it gets all like Keystone. <laughs> it's like the Three Stooges, dude. It's not a pirate movie, it's the Three Stooges. There's some good stuff in that one. After the first one, I just the first one's great. They for Pirates now? They've done like four of them, right? right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're the gonna do. Fourth one was good. They're working on a fifth one. It's like 2014, I think. Wasn't the fourth one the one that had um, what's prequel. your face just screaming the entire time? No, it wasn't a prequel. It was. No. No. no because actually, at the end of the third one is when he found the map actually, to the or when he had the map to the the yeah it was the, it wasn't a prequel whatever Black it was Flag. called the the fountain of you no they're not prequels Black Flag yeah, the fourth six. one yeah no. It, 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 at the oh, end of the, at the, end of the yeah. third one, when he's getting when he's getting ready to set off, he has the map that takes him to the Which fountain one are you of youth. I thought the fourth one was the fountain of youth. No, yeah. the, 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 fourth the end of the third one, one he use. has the map. Oh, and then, and then the fourth, fourth one, one takes it's over. The, yeah, it's the no, no, no. I read the original book, which the movie has nothing to do with the book because <laughs> the author. Oh, Scotty. Because I know the opt Dead crocodiles. He's in the water. He's, He's in the water now. There's actual Pirates of the Caribbean. It's, you it's, guys set yourself up on the shoreline. It, it was a standalone book written by um, okay, an author. I actually used to fence with this guy. And I felt bad because I was fencing with him. I didn't read any of his shit, but I was into other fanning. So he would talk about his stuff, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're a great author. It wasn't until years after that I actually started reading. And I'm like, this guy's actually damn good. I should have got him to sign some stuff, you know. And so then I, I read that book uh, on Stranger Tides. Yeah. Which is a good book, but it's got nothing to do with the 